What's up, YouTube Gen X? The whole concept of mentorship for me is pretty simple. Um, I feel like the whole concept of mentorship has been perverted, um, and people are wanting something else, but they're calling it mentorship when it's something closer to acting like a father figure, which to me are two different sort of concepts, being a father or a father figure versus being a mentor. Now, I understand why you have certain brothers that are like, well, how in the hell can you say that you don't want to mentor younger black boys? And at the same time, I can see why you have certain brothers on some, I'm not trying to do any of that shit. And if you really understand where your brothers are coming from that are saying, I don't want to have anything to do with mentorship, I think that, unfortunately, they are accepting that sort of perverted definition that's been put out there. Now, for me... As somebody who's had mentors and somebody who uh, uh, acts as a mentor, I understand that a mentor isn't somebody that's playing father figure. All you're really doing is almost supplementing, right, what a father is supposed to be doing, right, in the sense that you can have a mentor, right, and at the same time have somebody who is that father, father figure. And a mentor, once again, fills in the gaps, fills in the holes here and there, and kind of just simply supports the foundation that the father is laying down. Right? So he'll explain to you why, you know, your father feels a certain way, or why your dad did this, and why your dad did that, and how your dad feels, and how he's thinking. And oftentimes, the father and the mentor know each other. So the father can say, like, hey, yeah, you know, he's not doing what he needs to be doing. You know, I don't know what's going on. I've been trying to reach him. And you as the mentor simply take what the father wants to do, right, because you guys are on the same page, and you kick it to the kid at, at a different, in, in a different manner, right? So father's bummed out about, you know, the choices that the son is making. And oftentimes, you know how it is, parents and kids don't necessarily have the best communication ability. So sometimes the mentor comes in and fills in those gaps. This is why your father got mad. You know, man, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but he's mad because, you know, you're not doing, you're not working at your maximum ability. So you fill in the holes and the gaps. So it's not necessarily about you coming through and playing the father figure. You know, even when you get older, right, um, you know, and you have a, you get older, you still have your mentor, and when you're older, you can mentor uh, 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 kids that are relatively older that are now teenagers and young adults. You're still not coming through and playing, you know, daddy or daddy figure. All you're doing is supporting the foundation that that father has already made, right? And when you get older, mentorship takes on the role of that sort of, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get into a certain career or industry, and you have a mentor that's been there, done that. So once again, it's not about them coming through and playing father. You already have a father. The father's already laid down the foundation, right? But if you're trying to get into, let's say, uh, some sort of electrical engineering, and my father wasn't into that, well, you know, it would be cool if I found another brother that could mentor me. So let me find Captain Solo and say, hey, you know, can we have some sort of relationship where you can uh, help me understand what I need to do? So it's not necessarily that you're coming through and playing father figure to me. I already have all that. All you're doing is supplementing and helping me out with guidance that my father can't necessarily do himself. That's all it is. I mean, you could be a mentor and have your own kids. I have mentors that have their own sons of their own. Right? Um, but at the end of the day, that's possible because they're not playing father figure. No, they're not doing that at all. You know, I've mentored kids that um, have fathers, right? Um, and, you know, for me, it wasn't about trying to play dad at all. You know, I wasn't assuming any sort of res uh, financial responsibility. Once again, I would help out and help the father, right, uh, lay, lay down the foundation that he wants to lay down. And it is what it is. So that is what a mentor is supposed to do. Now, if you want to get into a father or a father-like position, that is a separate conversation. They're not the same. And we blur this line between father figure and mentor. They're different. When you understand what mentorship is supposed to be. I understand that we need fathers in the black community and we need men that want to take on father figure-like responsibilities. Okay. We can have that argument, or we can have that discussion, but that's separate. Because what a mentor is supposed to do is not 
as involved as what a uh, father-like figure is supposed to do. Because once again, when you're a father-like figure, you're assuming a whole lot more responsibility. A whole lot more. As opposed to a mentor, no, not so much. So based off of my understanding of mentorship, yeah, I do feel like, brothers, hey, you know, why don't you be a mentor? Why don't you help out here and there, you know, especially with the young black boys and let them know how you got to where you are, right? You know, and communicate with them, um, you know, nothing to involve. No one's asking you to take on any sort of financial responsibility other than, hey, let's go bowling or let's go to a Laker game. Or let's get pizza and talk about, you know, what's going on and, you know, what your father wants you to do and how you have to understand where he's coming from. Yeah, I feel like brothers should do that. And I do feel like brothers do that naturally. Especially for your brothers that get it. It's almost impossible for, you know, an older brother who's been somewhere, has been through some shit, to not want to share that with younger brothers or whatever to help them out. Right? So based off of that concept of what mentorship is supposed to be, most brothers should be doing that. Right, come through, you know, help out, uh, um, kind of provide that sort of supplemental sort of guidance and uh, 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 caring that these boys may need. Because it's difficult. It's difficult. You know, the, the sort of hip-hop culture and this sort of negative culture that is uh, unfortunately desecrating black boys, it's very strong. So even if you have a father there that's doing his job, hey, you need another, you need some other brothers that are going to come through and supplement that. And once again, that is what a mentor is supposed to do. And once again, the father and the mentor, right, in terms of the mentorship that I know, know each other. They have a relationship. So the mentor is not feeling like he has to play the father figure. That's not what his job is supposed to be. But now you have this sort of perverted definition of what mentorship is supposed to be, where it's more like being a father figure, right? Um, but we want to call it mentorship, and it's like, no. A father figure is way more involved. That's getting into the sort of dad-parent sort of category. That's not what a mentor is doing. He's supplementing what the father or the father-like figure is doing. He's supplementing that foundation. That's not what a mentor does. But people want to use the word mentor, right? Oh, you know, these boys need mentorship, and it's like, yo, that's not what mentorship is. So this new 2.0 definition... Right, that, that wants to be circulated. Yeah, I understand where brothers get off on some like, fuck all that. If that's what you think mentorship is, I'm not doing it. Not at all. And unfortunately, it makes those brothers look bad because, once again, men, most people, when, he, when you hear mentorship, will more than likely feel how I feel in terms of what it's supposed to be simply supplementing the foundation that that father or father-like figure is already laying down. Right, so for brothers to say, fuck mentorship, yeah, I think people would say, hey, what's wrong with you? But when you understand that perverted definition, where you have to sort of, hey, come through and play father. Assume the financial responsibilities. Assume this, assume that responsibility. Assume the uh, 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 accountability. So if he fails, it's on your head. But we want to call it mentorship. No, it's not going to work. Hey, come be a mentor. Okay, not a big deal. Hey, that's cool with me. You know, hang out. Um, you know, talk to him, feel how he feels. Maybe, you know, link up a couple times a month. That's cool. I could do all that. You get there, and now it's like, hey, we want you to play pseudo father figure. It's not going to happen. Especially when we already have this idea that, oh, black women can raise black boys by themselves. They're doing okay. Right? We're strong single black mothers, and we're raising these black boys to be this, that, and the third. Bullshit. Because the whole, you know, well, you know, but it's okay to have mentorship. That's bullshit because you're not looking for mentors. You have chicks that are looking for father figures, dad, people that are going to come to and play pseudo-daddy, but they're calling it mentorship, and that's the problem. So once again, tell me if I'm wrong, but my understanding of mentorship in terms of what I do and what I receive, and even from the other black men that I know that are also mentors, it's not this whole concept of being the father or the father-like figure. All you're really doing is supplementing the foundation that the father is laying down. And like I said before, most of the time, you know the kid's father. Right? You know the kid's father, you know, so you talk. So you, you know what's going on with Jamal. So it's not like you're stepping on dad's toes and you're telling Jamal something that goes against what dad is trying to pre uh, preach or let his son understand. No, you're not doing all that. 
So in my opinion, that is mentorship. So that's just my two cents. A couple of people asked me on my YouTube channel um, what my thoughts and feelings were, um, considering that I do work with kids. Um, and, you know, you have the whole concept of mentorship. So that's just how I feel. Like I said before, if we want to talk about the, the, the whole concept of we need more father figures and fathers in the black community, we'll have that conversation. Right? But don't put mentorship into that conversation because that's not what mentorship is. It's just not. Right? It's, it's, sim it's simplistic. Right? It's not as in-depth as people want to make it out to be and transform it to be. Right? So once again, brothers are getting upset because you have this sort of, hey, come through and play father figure. Right? But let me try to act as if I can get away with it by calling it mentorship. So now when brothers react a certain way, it's like, oh, man, look, look, look how these brothers act. All we're saying is, you know, we need some mentors, and brothers are flying off the deep end. But in reality, you look at their definition of mentorship, and it's not going up against what you have other brothers feel like what mentorship needs to be. Every man needs a mentor. And every man needs a father figure. And they're not the same. So hopefully I've made my point clear. Once again, tell me if you feel differently, because you're definitely more than welcome to have a difference of opinion. But that's just my take on it. So y'all be easy. God bless. You know where to find me.